Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Sans Labs Medium Graphic Tablet. And I'm sorry that this is not an unbox video because I just got lucky that my friend got an use unit for me to test it out. Don't get upset, I will still go through the lease and specs with you guys so you won't miss the testing, part and hardware close-up shots. So this is the case box that keeps the pen and other stuff in it. It is a pretty solid matte surface case with some texture on it, it feels a bit heavy too. Don't get panic. Why is there some empty slots and what is that for? I got that. I have the same reaction as you. First of all, it comes with 6 black standard nibs and 4 white felt nibs. On the right of that empty holes is a nib extracting ring. On the left it holds a USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter and a wireless receiver in the middle. And the pen comes in two types. A thicker pen with three button to configure and a thinner pen with two express button. When we take a closer look at the pen, there is a nice layer of rubber when you touch or hold it. You can feel the nice quality of the rubber. And when I try to move or shake the nib, it doesn't wobble much and stays very firm. And here's the thin pen. It is slimmer. It's the first time ever I'm encountered with such a slim pen. All the other pen that I used before, it's either the same as the previous pen size or just slightly slimmer. It has the same nice smooth rubber and two buttons with it. And here's the comparison of both pens side to side and have a clearer look of the differences in both. The back button of the pen is set to be an eraser which is really handy and it feels like a traditional pencil, the classic type. And this is a wireless receiver. Next is the rotate dial device with extra express key button with a screen on it so that you know what are those being set to. If you set undo, quick brush B selection, pen tool, smooth smudge brush with a specific shortcuts, it will map onto it and show you here. The button clicking feels quite solid too and that wheel rotate it's all smooth and doesn't have a gear mechanism to control it. The middle button allows you to switch the mode, zoom, size of the brush and so on. At the back, there is a nice texture that prevents slipping on your desk. Sorry for the dirt here. And there are two USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable. One for the tablet. And one for the dial device. On the board, there are four little white border that shows the active drawing size on the table. Three express key button at the top and here's where you plug in the USB Type-C. Beside here is the power button. At the back of the table, there are four rubber grips at four corners to prevent slipping on your desk. And that's all about it. Let's look into software installation part. In this section, I'm gonna show you where to download the driver. Go to Google and search Sense Labs. Then click the support section and click download driver from the drop down menu. And it supports Mac, Windows and Linux. So choose the correct driver and download. After that, you can proceed with the installation. 
Next, software calibration. You need to make sure the tablet is connected. If you have the dial device, connect them as well so that it detects and able to continue to the settings page. And it gives you some insights about the features, three buttons on the tablet that is customizable, pan tip pressure with soft, linear, and heavy sensitivity style. You can choose the tablet mapping area, screen, monitor one or two or both. And here's the quick key dials orientation, left, right, up or down, at your own pleasure. And you can also customize different sets of keys for different software. On the pen tablet menu, it shows the battery percentage bar left and allows you to customize or personalize a bit of your tablet with the LED lights on four corners of the device active area. You can also adjust brightness of the light, off, dim, medium and bright. And here's the light effect shown on the corner when I cycle through different colors. There's also a window ink button, windows ink button, sorry, for on and off in case certain software doesn't detect pressure. And there are three customizable express key button. Below here, left button, middle button, right button, set any functions you need. Next on the menu, we have that three button pen. So in here, you can customize the functions on those buttons and eraser at the back and adjust the pen pressure slider bar at your will to get the best drawing experience out of it. I kind of like that when you choose those button functions. It highlights the pen button which one you are configuring now. Then, the thin pen is the same, just less one button to configure. Next is the quick key dial device. There are 8 buttons for you to configure and with different sets you can switch to for different software. And the dial rotate has 4 modes. Scroll, zoom, rotate and brush sizes. At the side, it also shows the battery percentage left. At the last menu preferences tab, it allows you to switch screen mapping, which monitor or all monitors. Next we have friction sound. The sound it produces when you draw on the surface. I record it from around 6 inches away from the point I drew using an iPhone. No rod, no special microphone, not too loud and it is within the acceptable sound noise range. When I knock the nip on the board, you can hear that is pretty solid, not made by cheap materials. When I test it with the thin pen, it's the same. Feels very solid and no loud noises. Next, we test it in Clip Studio Paint. The pressure sensitivity works well when I draw curved lines. Just that I did make a few times of adjustment before getting the best pressure feel. The pressure detection feel it's quite different from other tablets. I might have to adjust till heavy to use like normal. Drawing lines are super responsive and has no lack issues. So after that, I'm going to try to draw a simple character to test out the overall drawing experience using this tablet inside Clip Studio.
Next, I'm trying this dot test. You can see that it responds great and not missing any dots. Some tablet might not pass this test and it won't wobble at all. Overall, it feels great. Next, let's test it in Photoshop. When it came into Photoshop, at first the curve was not smooth and doesn't detect much pressure. I have to readjust the sensitivity curve again to find the best pressure that works well with Photoshop. Let's try that again. Simply write some text and see how it feels. And while I test with the dots, it has some missed dots. Not too sure if that's a Photoshop problem or the tablet problem. But I guess it could be Photoshop because it has the same lack issues when I tested it with other tablet in Photoshop. Next, I'm gonna draw something freely in Photoshop and see how it feels. It feels great when drawing, shading, just the dots that I'm not very happy about it. Next, I'm going to test it inside ZBrush. So I have this guy who look very angry and eager to know how this table works in ZBrush. Hmm, <laughs> looks like somebody pissed him off badly. I'm reshaping a bit of the face and give him a bit of different look. 
he looked slightly younger now. Now he got even more pissed. One of his eyes goes blind. Pity him, brutal slash. I added some wounds marks as well around it. Overall, drawing experience in ZBrush feels really really good. The pressure sensitivity works very well. Every stroke and every detail sculpted exactly how you expect it to be. I can spend a whole day sculpting in ZBrush with this nice tablet. In conclusion, is this worth to buy? This tablet comes in two different sets. The base price is $279.99 without the quick case device. If you prefer to purchase with the quick case device, the price is $359.99. And here's the total item of what is inside the box. And here's the specs. Personally, I would recommend the tablet if you have enough budget for it. Even though it is quite an expensive tablet, but with the build quality of the tablet and pen, it should last long term. But I won't recommend the quick keys device though. It is something extra and it is not cheap. I would rather use keyboard because I'm already get used to it. What do you guys think about it? Is this product worth the price? Let me know down in the comment section below whether you will purchase this tablet compared to other brands tablets. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please click the like button and the subscribe button together with the ring notification button so you won't miss any new content in the future. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye.